So, um, what is your cosplay? Who are you cosplaying? Uh, so I am cosplaying Black Watch McCree from Overwatch. Okay. Um, how long have you been cosplaying for? Jeez. On and off for about uh, ten years, I guess technically it would be, but uh, there have been breaks in between. I did my first cosplay at Anime North in 2018. Um, I only got into doing regular cosplay, I'd say, though, back in 2014. Okay. So what was your first cosplay then? Uh, my first cosplay was Andrew Waltfeld from Gundam Seed, uh, mainly because that I had hair back then. <laughs> he was the only uh, character from an anime I liked who I could cosplay without uh, having to wear a wig or to shave my sideburns off. Okay. Um, what, what would you say inspired you to cosplay for the first time? Uh, well, it was actually uh, my friend Amanda uh, in the community. She goes by Amishanda, and she like her ability to make costumes is second to none. She is incredible, and like she always just seemed to have so much fun at conventions. And uh, you know, I think being an actor myself and being someone who gets a kick out of become, being able to become a different character um, and to inhabit that character really made the hobby appeal to me. Okay. Um, do you have like a cosplay idol or role model in the community? Um, Would it be the same person you just talked about? Yeah, it'd be, uh, there's two of them. It'd be my friend Amanda, as I mentioned, and my other friend Tara, who's responsible for the uh, the wonderful chest plate I'm wearing right now. And Amanda is the one who made the cloak here. Uh, they are both just some of the most phenomenally talented, skilled, and dedicated people I've ever met, and also just incredibly generous. Just good folks. I've met a few cosplayers who kind of let their skill go to their head, and with Tara and Amanda, it's never been about you know, are you a good enough cosplayer to be alongside me? They're just here to have fun, and it's amazing. Um, what fandom would you say you cosplay most frequently or the most often? Um, despite not playing the game myself, Overwatch uh, has become my staple. A friend of mine uh, wanted me to do this for a group, and. Uh, I, I kind of suck at online multiplayer, like I'm not that great at PvP, but I love the story behind Overwatch, I love the characters, I love how much the voice actors are able to communicate about these characters in so very few lines, and McCree got his own short recently, so it's just been uh, getting better from there. Um, what character that you've cosplayed would you say is most similar to you? Or you can just say none and you just totally cosplay out of type all the time too. No, I'd say McCree is pretty close. Um, the kind of line that really cements that for me is uh, at the end of the short he's in, Reunion, He, uh, it, it's actually all been about rescuing his old partner from Overwatch. And he's got this line, he says, you know, they're getting the band back together. They want me, but they need you. And it's something I've tried to do in my life and something I try to emulate. I love you know, building people up. I want to be, you know, someone who can encourage people who, you know, just makes their day a little brighter. Um, I also cosplay a uh, Mandalorian gunslinger, similar uh, armor and paint style to Boba Fett, but different character. And it's actually a character that I created for an Edge of the Empire campaign I'm running, effectively Star Wars D&D. So, you know, that's, uh, it's that kind of quirky sarcastic, uh, you know, good with a quip gunslinger type character that I have always loved to play in games and kind of hope I'm similar to in real life, but probably am not. Okay. Um, and what's, what would you say is your favorite costume that you've seen at Comic-Con so far? Oh, jeez. Or most impressive? There's, uh... There are these guys who are at uh, Fan Expo almost every year, and they've got like these mech builds of Pokemon characters um, that are super intricate, incredibly detailed, and actually have like LED eyes and workable wings. It's the amount of dedication you need to be able to put into like to make that look as good as it does is unstoppable. And just about every cosplay Tara does because she always manages to just go over the top in terms of how much embroidery or decoration she puts into these things and at the same time it's never too much. Like it's always just the right amount and it looks damn perfect every time. Okay. 